Hey guys, Steven here again, and we're going to do another unboxing. I have a few packages from Aquarium Co-op. Um, one of the things I'm really excited about, and some of the other things is just stuff I need for my fish room. So I thought I'd show you what I got. Let's check it out. So the first box is just some food. Picked up a couple packages of Viber Bites. I also picked up more of the, um, actually that must be in the other package. This is the sinking granules. I wanted to try these out. Um, since I got a ton more fish recently, I wanted to just try different food out and see if they liked it or not. So that's what I got in that package. I did order more of the Sarah um, O-Nip tabs because my guppies just go crazy for that stuff. It's amazing. So I only bought the little starter pack just to try it. And they love it so much that I bought the next size up. Um, right here, the O-Nip, the treat tablets. Um, they go absolutely nuts. Um, obviously, I saw the Aquarium Co-op video on it, and Corey always talks about you know how much he loves them. Um, so I tried the small pack, and I'm sold. So this is, I forget how many are in here, 265. I figured that'll get me, I don't know, a couple months worth, and then I'll buy another one. I didn't want to buy the huge tub just because I don't want to keep opening and closing it. Um, so I figure I can go through this in about a month probably. Got some Sarah um, catfish chips. It's got wood in it. And that's for my plecos. <clears throat> I forgot about this one. So I went ahead and picked up a Phoenix. It's the Nano Hang On Back Filter. Um, this will be for my nano tank for in here. Um, this is what I plan on filtering the tank with, um, at least to start with. Once the plants and everything are grown in and I can rely on them to filter the water, I'll probably end up pulling this out. But to start with, I figure I'd give one of these a try. Um, I've never watched a review on it. I'm pretty confident in Phoenix products and it's a hang on, hang on back filter so there's not a whole lot of technology that's new or anything like that. It should work. I do have a ton of filter um, media that I plan on putting in here basically to hot rod the filter. Because um, I, don't, I don't even know what comes with this. So maybe I'll open that here in a second. But this is the one I'm most excited about. Sometimes these are, are these tear opens? No. So I picked up the Fluval Planted Plus, well I guess it's just the plant is what it's called, the Nano. So this is basically a Nano version of basically the 3.0. I did pick up a 3.0, it's currently in my fish room running. I didn't do an unboxing or any kind of video on that. It was one of those things where I just really needed to get light and set it up. And so there's no, no video on that, but um, yeah, let me adjust this camera. So I was really excited because I knew the tank that you see back here, right there, that's going to stay in here. Um, I It's going to be planted and it's going to be shrimp. I'm not sure what shrimp I'm going to put in there yet. I'm thinking about doing it as a cold tank. 
So I have, what, four different lines of shrimp now, and I think it'd be cool to put my coals in there and just let them do their thing and see what they produce. And having a variety of color and patterns in that tank that I can see every day um, when I'm working on the computer would be awesome. So that's my plan for that tank is to do a coal style shrimp tank, heavily planted, and I plan to use this. Um, I really want to switch out all my lining to the 3.0s, um, not because I need that kind of power, but the fact that I can control the power and the settings through my phone makes things really nice. So when I see maybe, um, <clears throat> excuse me, that the allergy, allergies, I have allergies right now, but um, if the allergy is getting a little strong, I can tone down the lighting, um, either the power, because you can always shorten your your time on and off phases, you know, run less time during the day. I have it set to where it runs sun up to sun down, but the power, instead of being 100% power at midday, uh, my peak power right now is only 75%. I can tone that all the way down if I want. So I really, really like the fact that I can do that. So that was, as soon as I tried that 3.0 and got that mini tank right there, I immediately bought this Nano. So I can't wait to try this and get that tank set up and um, go from there. So I'm gonna include something, it's not Aquarium Co-op. Um, this has nothing to do with them, but it's really the only other thing I wanna open to get my project started. Um, this is just something I want to test to see if it's a product I want to carry on my website. I might as well tell you the website is 614fish.com. 614 is the area code of the city I live in, Columbus, Ohio, and then obviously fish, we all know why. So 614fish.com. Um, I am trying to find more vendors. I currently have four wholesale accounts and I'm expanding that. And I just did a little bulk order of some intake sponges. Um, I knew I wanted one for this tank so I can try it on that. But the other reason I wanted these, I got this one package. I don't, I don't know how many there are. There's probably at least 50 sitting here now. I found that I can take these mini sponges and stretch these over my overflow pipes. So to keep fish or my shrimp from going down my overflow, especially on my central system, where each tank feeds the next tank in the rack, where I have to have, it's constantly overflowing, not just during a water change. I have to have that capped off somehow to keep the shrimp from getting in there. And I found that I can take a mini sponge and stretch it over. Now these are like the nano ones. The ones I use in my system so far were the small ones from Aquarian Co-op. Um, I'm just sourcing elsewhere because I want to carry some on my website. So I decided to try this company out um, to see how they are. And quite honestly, they look like every other sponge. The pores look, it's not super coarse. So it's not going to be a great pre-filter sponge for that nano tank but it's going to allow a lot of stuff to catch there and let the shrimp eat on it. So that's why I kind of wanted this poor density. But I don't know if I'll be able to stretch these over my three quarter inch overflows. It's going to be really, really tight. I mean, you can stretch them out pretty good, but um, I'll have to test that and see if I can do it. If not, I might have to get the step up from here because these are the nano ones. And then the next step up would be small. So I might have to get the small ones. But yeah, so that's all this stuff there's some other stuff uh, I'll show you guys that stuff too why not so for my studio this room was pretty much bare there's no decorations on the walls no pictures nothing so I wanted to start putting stuff up on the walls and one of the things I always liked were like t-shirt style photos I'm not sure how I'm going to do it yet if I'm going to get like the square canvas um, picture frame type deal and then put the t-shirts on it. but what I'm doing is putting t-shirts on so I'm trying to support everybody I buy from so first up because of this video we got an aquarium co-op shirt
I have a LR Brett's LRB Aquatic shirt. So on the front, it's just his logo. But on the back, it is the Mad Scientist shirt that he has. So I'll probably put that side out because I like it. Who else do we have? We got Mark Shrimp Tanks. I really like Mark's channel. Um, I think he does a lot of cool stuff, especially with how small his fish room is. Like, he's got a tiny fish room and he just does amazing things out of it. And then, this is the OG Flip Aquatic shirt where it is the American bred shrimp and fish. I think the current one is setting the standard, if I remember correctly. So I, got, I did find one of his original ones. Um, I'll probably pick up one of his new versions too. He is, I wanna say semi-local. He's about two hours from me. Um, so I can't wait until he opens up his gallery and his new building. If he does like a, a public um, you know, meet and greet day, I definitely plan on going up there. I buy quite a bit of stuff from him too. I buy foods, obviously shrimp from him, and medicines. So I, I mainly buy from him and Corey at Aquarium Co-op. Um, Corey's shipping is one of the main reasons I go to him. Obviously he has always said that he's competing with Amazon. His pricing is the same as Amazon. So I just buy from him to support the hobby and I still get things extremely fast. It, it surprises me. So I think the last order, which would have been the Viber Bites and the other shrimp food, I ordered that Saturday, Saturday morning. He's in Seattle, like Seattle, Washington, Edmonds, Washington. I'm in Columbus, Ohio. Ordered it Saturday morning. I had it Monday morning. Yeah, super quick. So, I mean, it's basically like just ordering ordering Amazon Prime, um, but I'm supporting him and his company, which I have no problem with. I'd rather support the hobby. Um, Amazon, Amazon's great, but it's just a big corporate, you know, freight train rolling through. Um, so yeah, that's it. So I got my new shirts. I got these tons of these filters. There's 12 in each pack and there's four packs. So a ton of those I can play with, cut them up, do whatever I need to do um, for my fish room. Whatever I determine if I want to use these or not, then I'll list them on the website, 614fish.com. The shrimp that are on there right now, you can't buy anything because I am basically sold out right now. I'm waiting for my current shrimp to grow up bigger because I don't want to ship them until they're at least a half an inch because I would hate to open a bag and be like, oh, I got tiny little itty bitty shrimp, you know, so I don't want to do that. So I'm waiting till they're bigger and hopefully I'll have some more options. So right now the only three I have listed are the red cherries, which are going to be your kind of clear body, the original cherry shrimp. Um, I do have some uh, Sakura shrimp and I do have a few um, fire reds going in my tanks right now. So those ones are the ones that look really awesome, I think. You know, it's almost like, you know, painted fire red, you know, getting up into the higher quality. So I'm waiting on those to grow up. And once those are ready to ship, then those will go live. Right now, I think it just says sold out. Um, I do have other products on there already that I've been selling on eBay for the last six months, six to eight months. I've been selling the super glue that's safe for your plants and like um, the GE silicone one and like caulk gun to go with it. Those are all selling on eBay really well. So I just list them on my website. I sell them on eBay almost every day. So I might as well list them on my website. I do have plants in stock ready to go. Um, I'm not afraid to tell you where I got them from. They're from Tropica. Um, they're huge in the European market. They're branching out into the United States. If you can go to their website, it's just tropica.com check out all the plants that they have they're they're huge overseas massive it's it's insane how much you know planted tank stuff there is overseas but i have a wholesale account with them i did order um a large shipment in at least a month ago it kind of looks like their plants might be growing out of water as pretty much all the farms are 
So they're in my tanks right now, converting to um, submerge from emerged. Uh, that's what the Amano shrimp is for in my last video of the unboxing from Aquatic Arts. The Amano shrimp went into my plant tanks. Those tanks are just to convert all those plants to submerge and then to sell online. Those are available, you can buy them, I'm pretty sure, right now. And that's it for now. As soon as I come up with more things, I will be sure to let you guys know. I appreciate the support. I know I'm a small channel so far, and you know, we gotta get rolling on that. But I'm hoping to do more videos to help the YouTube algorithm start plugging my channel more. And then everything I'm selling on eBay from now on, it's gonna have a little note card in it about my website and my channel. So as always, thanks and have a good weekend.